Amen. God's great and really to be praised. His name is wonderful. Brother Marvin's going to come, and we're going to start. Can everybody stand with me? Yes. If you can't stand, try to do something. Would you stand up, please? Gently. There you go. Right here. It's got to be like this. Okay, so they can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yes. You're going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, right? Right. Okay, okay Daniel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I don't know how many of you have ever seen or heard of the Christian flag allegiance, but here we go. If you don't know it, write it down. Copy it. All right. All right. Here we go. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all those who believe. Amen. How many of you have ever heard that before? Anybody? Okay. Well, God's great and ready to be praised. You may be seated. It would have been 13 stripes and, and uh, just like the color, red, white, and blue. And one of the first flags had the stars arranged in a circle based on the idea that all colonies are equal. Of course, we know that they are, but now they're in line. On June 4th, 1777, the Continental Congress, seeking to pr promote national pride and unity, adopted the national flag, and it, it's re resolved that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, red, white, and blue, with the union of 13 stars, and so on and so forth. And it's been that way, adding a star every time we took in a state. Now, one little question I have. Does anybody here know the real difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Okay. Okay. Memorial Day is for all the veterans who have passed away, who have given their lives in combat, who are gone. Where Veterans Day is observed on the on the 11th of November, as we know, and it, it's because of um, those who put it together. After decades, in 1954, President J Dwight D. Eisenhower officially changed the name of the holiday from Armistice Day to Veterans Day, and that's what we use. That's what we use today, and that's what we celebrate today. I'm going to tell you one little thing and then I'll quit turn it over to Brother Joe. We are knowing that Veterans Day was Friday. However, today we're going to, in this church, we're celebrating Veterans Day and today I would like to say thank you to all of you veterans who gave yourselves for the defenders of this great country. These veterans are men and women who gave themselves to protect our nation. But I want you to also understand the rest of you are also veterans. 
You say, how is that, Brother Terry? That's because you're fighting in a battle with the worst enemy there is in the entire universe. Okay? This morning, I want us to honor those men and women who have served. We know that many of our veterans have home, come home from the war with scars and injuries from overseas conflicts, and we are extremely grateful for their willingness to serve and their sacrifice that they gave to this nation. So today, we say thank you. Thank you. For, for a little piece of history, those of you that don't know, I've only told the story a million and one times. I went to Franklin Pierce High School. I graduated in the year of 1970. I was in basic training July of 1970. I was overseas in Pacific Islands during the Vietnam War in December of 1970. Big bang boom. I went from glory to doom. <laughs> but I'm still here. And, and, a little, and a little handicapped. <laughs> That's all, right. all right, Brother Joe. Let us pray. Abba, Father, we thank you, God, for your, your mercy, your love, your kindness that you have to all of us, Lord. And especially, God, we thank you, God, for all the veterans who served in the military, the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, Lord, the Coast Guard, Lord, all of those, Lord, people. God, we thank you, God, for all those that gave their lives so that we could speak freely, so we could gather in churches and worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. God, we thank you for the freedom to re of religion, Lord. Freedom of speech, Lord, and all the other freedoms that we have, Lord. I ask you to be with all the families, Lord, of the veterans, Lord, and just keep on moving, Lord, because without you, we couldn't celebrate Veterans Day without you, Lord, because you are our strength. You're our help. I ask you all this in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. No, he doesn't need a mic. But, uh...